how do we make this kind of work um, aspirational again? Because clearly it's, it's critical, you know? How do we spread that around? That's a good question. It is, um, you, just, you just have to bring people in. You know, not everybody can get a college degree. And Ed, we did. Mm -hmm. So, you know. But we've had training, you know, over the years. Yeah. You know, CC yeah. classes and blueprint reading and uh, tooling classes about, you know, different drills and, you know, cutting chips and speeds and feeds and things like that. You know, insert wire. So it's stuff you pick up over the years plus your experience, you know, of you putting that in place over the years. I think it helps us to do a good job. I think it's important for organizations like ours to continue to invest in our talent, to continue to invest in training today's technicians and training the technicians of tomorrow. You know, you got millions of people out of work, you have millions of jobs available, and there just seems to be this disconnect about where the opportunity really is. There has to be efforts kind of like uh, our scholarship program through the Garage Gurus program, um, through your foundation, and I think we have to we have to over communicate and and um, and and target uh, the 5.6 million um, and and show them those career paths. When I think about the 360 degree view, when I think about vans going to where the installers are and all of the stuff you're doing behind the scenes, the obvious question is who else is doing this? Nobody. There's nobody doing this in the independent aftermarket.